Hello everyone. I know it's been a while since I put out a video recently on YouTube, but I thought I'd take the time today to talk about battery life on the Microsoft Surface Duo and some of the things you can do to increase your battery life. Let's start by going into the system, well settings, and then from there what I want to show you is one of the things that I did was I put my phone in developer mode, so I utilize that quite a bit. I'll go to system here, I'll go to developer options here, and then what I want you to do, see is right here where it says memory, it shows you that. And then if you scroll down here, it'll say running services. So one of the things you can do is look at everything, every service that's running on your device. And it breaks down how much of your memory it, each app is actually using. So that in itself might help you to decide which apps you want to leave running on your device, as far as notification wise goes, and which ones you want to turn off. And as you can see, I have an extensive list of apps on my phone, but most of them I have turned off the notifications. But as you can see, the color code from the device memory usage right here, when you go under running services, it kind of shows you, and it's real time, of course, it's just like a regular PC, showing you how much free RAM you have, how many is utilized by apps, and how much is actually utilized by the system itself. So I thought that was pretty cool. So, uh, I'm sorry, I thought I hit the back button but apparently I did not. Uh, apparently I just closed the system completely out. I'm sorry guys. So I'm going to go back in there. And so I'm going to go all the way back down the system. I could search for it, but it's not hurting me to go here and look at these things. So, of course, you know, like I said, we were under running services. And it gives you a really cool breakdown of those things. So I'm going to go back out of running services. Oh, we have a little crash there. So that's what it was. Sorry again, guys. This is real-time video, so I'm not. Uh, this is not scripted. This is me actually inside of the device. So I'll try this again. We're going to go to System. Then we're going to go to Developer Options. Then this time, I want to just go under, you know, Actually, I'm not even going to do that. I'm going to see if I can just swipe to do the back, but when I do it that way, it doesn't crash. So that's pretty cool. I just did the gesture swipe back to go to the previous page. So now we're going to go from there. We kind of looked into the uh, developer option to look at the memory usage by breakdown of system, you know, apps, etc. So now one of the first things everyone should do is go into their device and look at the... Um, what apps are set to notify you because most of the time when you download an app they automatically set themselves to notify you and most people we're pretty busy people so most people don't turn it off or don't pay attention to what the verbiage says when you're actually installing the app they just give it permission across the board on the device and so all these notifications drain on the battery so as you can see I have total of 80 apps on my device and notifications turned off on 40 of those. And let's do a deep dive in there. And that's from the last seven days. Right there. And you can see the only apps I have on are the ones listed here. Not a lot of them. So that's what's cool about that. And what I want to show you guys is that, you know, I want to say see all 80. What I don't like about at least this version of Android, or maybe I'm behind in the times, which I try, try to stay up on tech, so I'm normally pretty um, educated on where settings are and how to do certain things. Uh, in previous versions of Android, when you came to this big list of all the apps on your device, it used to have a button sitting off to the right of each of these names or headers that you could disable or turn off notifications. Now, at least in this instance of Android, it looks like you'd have to pretty much press this button, go to notification, and then turn the slider on or off for each app if you don't do it at the time of installation. So that part of Android sucks. So let's go ahead and put that on record. But that's how you would do to you know make sure either at installation time, tell it no to notifications at that time. And if you inadvertently forgot, you have to dive in here like this and go to each individual. And as you can see, when I hit the ellipsis, it does not have an option to turn off notification for all apps. So as far as I know, there's no way to do it uh, uh, bulk-wise, so to speak. 
you have to do the individuals if you don't do it at time of install so again that sucks so another thing you can do is go into display adjust your brightness I currently have mine set at 65 percent and you know on this device they have this nightlight feature that I think would put your device in a uh, lower mode where it hides the blue rays that are on your phone or whatever that would damage your eyes you can turn this on and so each day at a specific time I think it's sunset to sunrise it would lower this screen brightness intensity automatically which would help you to save on battery life okay and overall speaking about battery life on this device I don't have any issues with this phone it's been pretty great for me because what I do with my device I use it as my alarm clock so at night I generally charge it around 10 to 10 30 p.m. I put it on the charger and I think in a half hour I have at least 75 percent maybe 45 minutes I have 75 percent battery charge and maybe an hour an hour and 15 minutes the device is at 100 percent at that point in time I do take it off of the AC wall charger and put it in TP mode and what I like is this device apparently goes into some sort of a hibernation mode and when you have the screen kind of folded or tilted apparently it only draws power on one of the screens which is cool and it extends your battery life for example for me I last charged this phone about 15 hours ago and you can see where it says last full charge 15 hours ago and uh, you know battery saver will come on at 15 percent but you can see I'm getting good life on this you know um, and I think I saw on here where they said that I had roughly until 5 after 5 a.m. on this charge if I guess if I keep utilizing this phone the way it um, you know way I've currently used it today so I think that that's pretty cool stuff you know and I think that the battery life on this device has been really really good please drop in the comments what your battery experience has been like with the Microsoft Surface Duo thanks and have a good day